<laughs> it's that time of day, everyone. It's time for a brand new one day special. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Wow, it feels like we've been waiting all day, doesn't it? And for the next hour, we're going to craft ourselves silly. And I don't want to cast any silly aspersions, <laughs> but guess who's with me? <laughs> Stand by Smith! Yay! <laughs> How are you, darling girl? I'm fine. How are you? Good. I'm all right, thank you. It's nice to see you again. I know. It's very snowy, isn't it? It's uh, very snowy, isn't it's it? Exciting. We, we, we could be tucking each other in later. <laughs> I mean, because there's quite a lot of snow outside. We're not quite sure. We'll be fine. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. In the meantime, let's craft ourselves silly, shall we? Shall we? Um, so, what are we doing? Give us a nutshell of everything that we're doing, okay. Miss Smith. So, what you have uh, with you is you have two of our 99 panels, but what we've brought them with is we've brought them with um, the zebra pens. So, the zebra pens will work on fabric, and you've got two... Uh, gold two silver and five sparkly black ones i did you some little swatches which i've put beside the pen so you can kind of have a little little look see and, and see how they work on black and how they work on white as well yes because i mean for a completely black fabric you've still got an awful lot of coverage very nice on there and, and that's from a pen and they're from a pen you now they're never really nice that, and fine you? they're a one millimeter nib which means um, if you're using on them more kind of detailed things things like maybe you've made soft toys and you want to add whiskers mm -hmm. or eyes they're absolutely perfect for that but what they do really really well is i've got one one i started coloring in earlier here hang on there we go can you see that one just down there on the corner there you go it's good. There you go. They colour in these 99 panels beautifully. And can you see all the sparkles? That's still so on there? cool, isn't it, for doing detail? We've given you um, two golds, two silvers, and five blacks because they're the ones you're going to use most often. And if you've had the zebra pens from us before, they're the ones you're most likely going to need to top up on. Yes. So Absolutely. that's why we've put them together with a bundle and two of our most popular panels as well, which is the Victorian tiles, which is the one to your left. Left. Yep. It's all right. Marcus didn't oh. catch me doing that. Oh, no. Is it, is it this one here? No, Victorian's right. this one. It's my right. Sorry, Hayley. It's Hayley. still my right as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know I'm terrible at this. We just move on. Move on. Yeah, this and one anyway. That one, which is the Victorian tiles. Now, they're all um, on there, ready for you to colour in. So you can, um, you know, you can go to town on these. You mm -hmm. can add other bits and pieces in. You can uh, stitch into them as well. There's, There's all so lots many. and lots of detail in these. So, uh, am I right in saying that the, the, the 99 different tiles... Yes, there's 99 completely different designs all different. on there. All different. No what two a lovely the concept. Same. But, the, you, could kill, you, know, you could decorate each of those and make it into a quilt. Or, yes. think about the fact that we are all working separately at the minute. Yes. You can snip a few out, send them off to uh, you know, lots of friends, because they will fit in a, like a normal letter, so they'll be really kind of cost-effective to post. Yeah. So you could send them all out to friends, get them all back, and love then it. quilt them all together. Oh, I love it. Yes, you could still have a quilting club without all being in the same exactly. place. That's a really, really good idea, actually. That would make a nice, like, overall charity project to do yes, or a good cause or just project. just a community project where everybody can decorate yes. one or two and then have them all sewn back together. So Fantastic. that's your Victorian tiles, but you're not just getting that panel with the pens. No, you're, you're also getting get this one as here. as well, because we thought with the, the metallics, with the golds and the silver, we thought the keys were a, a lovely idea. And these ones have got a little more, more space um, in them and space around them to be able to do a bit more decoratively with things like your, your flosses and your braids and your threads and things to be able to create different effects. Oh, yeah, of course, because you could go around, um, you could echo around all of the out, outside of the keys if you want to yeah. with your fancy stitches on your showing, sewing, showing machine, sewing machine. Um, you showing could do machine, your. A bit Sean Connery there. You could, oh, yes, I was just channeling <laughs> Sean there. Um, you could also do your, um, your French knots and your embroidery. Yeah. Exactly. In there. Um, so if you've got an embroidery club, because we've we've done some of these two um, embroiderers guilds and things like that, and, and they've picked the one they like the best. We've sent it uh, to one person. They've chopped it up, sent it to people, because you've got 99 different designs on here. There are no two repeats. But maybe think about your mixed media as well. Yes. 
because you've got little kind of feature pieces that you could decorate and then cut out and add on to your mixed media. Well, so also, just going back to our last new hour as well, you could fussy cut out a key or, or a tile or an element from a tile there, and you could use that as a decoupage layer for, exactly. your, for your ceramic that we just saw. Well, the, the, the possibilities are endless. Now, right, let's talk price tag then, shall we? Because your one-day special is one of these and one of these. So that's actually 99 elements and 99 elements there. Um, plus that's 198 your metallic... elements. Yes, 188. Well, well, 188. 198. 198. Yeah. Did you say 88? No, I said 98. Oh, OK, sorry. She's such a long way away and then there's a screen. Never, never, doubt, never doubt the maths. There's... Never <laughs> doubt the maths. <laughs> so the pens... <laughs> are here as well. I can't hear you as well with that screen in the way, you know. And I can always hear Hayley. Right, so it's like the pens are absolutely coming along for the ride in the one day special because they're normally um, 19 99 on their own. And you're saving here 20 pounds. So that is your panel panel, you stop paying then, pens free. There you go. You could view it that way very, very nicely indeed. 807 983 is your item number then for your fabulous Fabulous one day special, which is very, very nice indeed. I love that. I think that's a really lovely combo. To know, I see I'm brand new to this whole 99. Oh, you've not thing. seen these I have before. never seen one of these before. Oh, well, this has been kind of growing and growing since uh, about August last year, I think we did the, the first kind of batch of them. Yeah. And it's just been growing and growing since then. And we keep bringing uh, new designs out. So there's new things that you can, you can have a little bit of a, a play with. And um, it just keeps kind of gathering momentum because I think that whole idea of being able to split that panel up you know, be, get, be able to get it out to people who are working remotely at the minute and then bring it back together and create a whole project, but by all still kind of working separately. Love it. Lovely. Right, there are more panels so, as well. New ones. There are more, and I haven't oh. seen any of these. Oh, these are brand new, are they? These so nobody's seen them. These three are brand spanking new so ones. So no one's seen them before. This is lovely. So this is your magical yes. option. And you can see there's lots of uh, kind oh. of, you know, Kind of mystical, magical, witchy yes, kind of things of in there. Ball so going there's on broomsticks. There. I think I saw a Ouija board in there somewhere. Did there's you? Well, let's not talk too much on about there. that it's then, shall we not? Loads of fun this one. It's, a, it's got a little bit of a zodiacy kind of vibe to it. Yeah, yes, it I has. can see some. I can see some sort of tarot-y type cards going on down here because, of course, there's. You can see that well, the top <laughs> half. But there's a there's a bottom half because yeah, obviously yeah we've made you a kind of flip chart of fabric. <laughs> yeah, let me let me see whether I can sort of half balance it to that point. And then you can see the then you can see the top half. So ignore from ignore from there down, obviously, Marcus. Um, but you've got you've got oh, spell like, books. You've got your potions. Yes, you know, you've got the, dream catcher there. Oh, sorry, up a bit, Marcus. There you go. Sorry, <laughs> up a I'd bit, always pick the bit. one that were nowhere near, wouldn't I? <laughs> you've got a dream catcher. A uh, couple of uh, cross broomsticks. I wonder well, what that again, means. there's still 99 different designs on there, and they're all completely different. Oh, I love that. So is that, is a that a sign for a bar, that? The yes, <laughs> no bar. It'll be very no at the moment, I would imagine. You've got your tarot imagine, cards, you've got your kind of all your, your different dream catcher type things, whether, you know, wound on to, to, love to it. twigs, lots of you. There's, you've got your... Um, Symbols for your uh, star signs and things. Oh, OK. I was going to say chakra because it sounded posh, but... Yeah, no, you're right. It's his star signs. <laughs> they felt like it's chakra them, stones, though. Them. These things. Where are you? That one. Anyway, right, we're going to have to oh, move runes. on. runes! Otherwise, we'll need three hours, won't we? <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm just coming around to the back here to... So this next one, while Derek's busy doing that... I'm just um, round here doing the, a bit uh, of uh, Celtic knots. So this one, again, lends itself so well to those pens as well because just colouring in, maybe you, you kind of stitched in or you're adding a different fabric to the main blocks, yep. but then just using the pens to follow the lines and colour those in can be So this really, one is really called... Celtic Knots. That Celtic one. Knots. Love that. Very, very again, nice. That would be great fun to colour in. different individual designs. Love it. Right, let's go to the next one now. Yeah. The and next is, one, we've gardening. all been looking forward to I this one. I did try and put these in some semblance of an order, but we'll, gardening. we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. So this gardening. is gardening. So you've got lots of your different elements in there. You've got like your Pumpkin. wellies. And your, there's the wellies and the watering can and, you know, things. peas in the pod. Break. <laughs> Garden bench. Plant pot. Mower. Picnic bench. <laughs> Wheelbarrow. This is a great game for the kids, this, isn't like it? It sounds like you've got kind of uh, garden Tourette's. Yeah. 
garlic. Elephant garlic. It's elephant garlic. It's the biggest one you can get. Uh, is it there's a there's a uh, artichoke, cauliflower. <laughs> Love it. This is brilliant, isn't it? It's a little Shout bit out like... random gardening names. There's a snail. <laughs> oh, did it, oh, have we been there already? Let me let me go to one that you can see. Oh, there's a. Hang on. Let me do the halfway up thing, Marcus. Just quickly. Sorry. One second. Excuse me. You're looking. You're looking. I'm looking at my best side at the moment, though. Um, <laughs> right down here. Look, you got one of those pea pod. Is it? Uh, is it an aubergine? Is it an aubergine? I think it might be an aubergine. Is it? Lily, lily in a pot. Trimmed bush. Anyway, lots in there. Topia. Yes, absolutely. Bless you, Emily. <laughs> right, let's move on. Next one. Oh, Enough so this gardening is the for feathers. now. This is the one we're going to uh, demonstrate with in just a second. What's this one? Because uh, we have feathers. Um, all of these ones that you're seeing, I just need to tell you, we have them as um, digital options as well, which we'll come to in a little bit. But okay. just kind of remember, all the ones you're seeing are available in another format. It's and we'll like the show generation game, this, isn't it? In a second. So there's again 99 feathers. Feather. feather. On this one. Feather. So lots and lots of different options. And feather. I think especially oh. if you've got people who <laughs> are doing feathers. them separately, yes. they can do these in lots and lots of different feather. ways, can't they? Yep, marvellous. Right, OK, next one, because there's lots of feathers there. I think we've got that. Right, here we go, round the back. Butterflies, 99 butterflies, such fun this one. And I think especially if you're into your embroidery and your beading, this could be a lot of fun, this one. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this as a game. It's what, a bit, like, it's a bit like being an old-fashioned weatherman, now. isn't it? Having <laughs> to do all the symbols by <laughs> do himself. You, do, do you like the uh, flip chart? Oh, I love it. I think it's great. I'm not tall enough for it, but I love oh, it. Oh, OK. Oh, can we just do that's one more, Emily? Only because this one's really fun, because that's butterfly, 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 times 99, but they're all different. So I have to watch myself here. I'm going to do myself an this injury by the end of this now. This is the panel. So this one, again, Look! really, really fun. So you've got all of those elements, 99 different ones, no repeats. Um, you've got scissors, you've got your mannequins, your sewing machines, your fabric. What? what? It's on its side, that one. What is it? It's fabric. It's a bolt of fabric. It's a bolt of fabric. Of course it's a bolt of fabric. It's a bolt of fabric. You've got um, bobbins. thimbles, needles, uh, machine bobbins. bobbins. You've got all sorts bobbins. in there. I just love saying that word, sorry. Uh, you've got all sorts there. I love it. And there are many more on the website as well. Please go and have a look. That was fun, wasn't it? I love that. I love this 99 panel thing. I'm, it's growing on me. Uh, and there are others as well. There are mandalas. There's, there's a Christmas one there as well. That won't last long. Um, £14.99 pence if you want to buy any of those panels there, which is um, lovely. I think they're brilliant. I just want to carry on going through them. Alas, time is going to uh, beat us. So right now... So these are... These are 99 panels as well. Yes. But this time they're all in colour. So, so they're texture you've panels. Got, uh, you've got... Well, it's marbles. It's, they're all marbled. Ah. So there's 99 marbles. OK. So this one, you've got all of your different colours in. So this one is your yep. mixed option. Uh -huh. Now, you can get them all as individuals, but you can get them all as a bundle as well. So have a look at all of them. OK. Then you can make your mind up. So um, that right. one is your mixed one. OK. And then your next one is your ocean blue. OK, so that's mixed. That was a lovely waft. And it wasn't it? Yeah, Ben's going to have a nightmare with this. Sorry, I apologise in advance. There's blue. So this is your ocean blue. And right, and again, next... Again, beautiful, oh, beautiful colours in all of these. This Look is your orchid. Look at that. Gosh, that's beautiful. Which so one is can, this? Again, you can, that's orchid. You orchid. can chop them up and use them individually. Or what you can do is completely cheat for a quilt topper and just a stitch in the pretend ditches. Yes. Piece of cake. Right, stitch so that in the pretend is ditch. orchid. Yep. Ready for and the next, next one? next one, this is autumn. Autumn. This is my favourite favourite, this Love one. Love it. <gasps> yes, it's mine as well, because it feels like I want it on top of my bed, because it feels like it has that warming feeling about it straight away. <laughs> like Ooh. it would be toasty. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. This might be my duvet cover later if we get snowed in. OK. <laughs> <laughs> love that. It's brilliant. So, I mean, these are stunning pieces. You've got lots of pieces that are kind of standalone in their own right that you could use for individual projects. Or you could, as we said, use it as, and cut it as bigger pieces and use them as, as if they're already stitched together. So that's autumn. It's really good um, heavyweight fabric as well, isn't it? Really, really cool. Isn't it? So this is 100% cotton, so, I take Yes, it. it is. It's all 100% yeah. cotton. Yeah. Um, so oh, you can sorry. use it for 
anything you can use it for dressmaking you can use it for quilting you do have some samples underneath the bench there if you want to show them just lift lift the green flap there you oh, go look, there you go <laughs> amazing uh right yes let me show you some um some samples let's put it over the over the the, the green one here so here's some samples just to give you a little bit of a little bit of a an idea there we go we're going to um, put the details on the screen if you want all of them here's some, oh look little so we have oh, put a, we have put a saving on all of them i think yes. you save almost i think it's about one pound nine one pound eighty per panel i think it is uh-huh you save on each of them so it's a nine pound saving in total Ooh, so it's about no. uh, about ten percent on look, the, look, look. the total how cool uh, is that amount if you go for all of them love it Love it, love it, love it. I love all of these. <laughs> so really, it's, it's a colour choice on this one, isn't it, I suppose? Or you can go for a multicolour one. Or yeah, so if you can't make the decision, it's not an easy decision to make, I'll be honest with you. Um, the whole lot there has that £9 saving, 85 95 or split that into two flexes of 42 98 Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. You just love everything I don't know today, where to Derek, start. don't you? Say again. Like a kid in a sweet shop uh, today, aren't you? Completely and utterly. Now, we've got more to show we on have. the show, and that's These all behind you. Oh, brand spanking new as well. Tell me, tell me. So, um, the Victorian tiles that we've done as the 99 panel, which we've put into the one day special because it is one of our most popular 99 panels that we've ever done. We've actually uh, been asked for colour ones. So, that is exactly what we did. And ah. this is what is up behind me here. So you've got five different colourways in it. Uh -huh. You've got the kind of reddy, orangey, almost like a terracotta y colour there. Yeah. Now they are. I, has he done different ones or has he done. I'm trying to work out. No, it's the same patterns on each. They're just in, in different colourways. So the next one you've got is the pink purple. And then I actually think my favourite might be the yellow one that's Yeah, me too. Next. I was going to say that. I know you shouldn't have favourites, but that is, that I, is well, mine. Well, uh, I'm having them. I don't care. Do you know, it's the, it's like the, the sophistication one. of the colour that's over it as well. It's that balance of that yes, slightly aged tone. Yes, and they've all got a really tone. fine outline yeah. to them as well, which we've, we've added into them. And I think it just makes it kind of they are really, super, super really nice. pop. And again, with these, you can do them as individuals. You can do them as, um, you know, take out blocks of, say, eight or, or maybe nine, because that's a nice square. So yeah. maybe you could take out nine at a time and create um, a cushions and feature pieces out of them. You've got so many options with these. You can use them individually. You can use them as blocks. You, again, a whole quilt topper. Just put borders and edges on it. I, I, honestly, they are just... Oh, oh, that's why you've got up. She doesn't know where to put herself because the no, camera is looking over. No, because if I was sitting down, I'd be right in the way. All of the options. <laughs> so I'm just wondering mm, about it in the clever, studio. You? <laughs> I love those. These are beautiful, and you've got that same option of having um, individuals. Yeah. Or you can have um, the whole collection together. D Marcus, I thought you were going to go in vision with him, not me trying to sneak back into my seat. <laughs> <laughs> We've caught you. It did work, actually, because you were finishing a sentence, <laughs> that's why. So, if you want individuals, uh, we can... Uh, eighteen ninety nine is the price for the individuals, and you choose between the colour. Is there a bundle for all of those? I believe is there, there is. I, wa I want to know that detail, because actually... <laughs> Uh, there's no possible way you can you're, you're going to want all of those over a period of time so why not make the big saving right now and go for the entire bundle of those 85.95 um they're absolutely genius brilliant right okay listen right so now we know everything that's in the show it's taken us 20 minutes to do that Hayley yeah there was quite so, a lot um, <laughs> there is a lot to see <laughs> isn't it <laughs> so it looks like you're doing the dance of the seven veils there so right. what's going on so what I've got is I've got um one of our organza bundles so there's um 40 centimeter squares and there's 13 different ones in there sometimes uh -huh. it, it you know changes a little bit in terms of colors but there's always always a really good mix so if i just pop this to the side for a second i can show you what i've done because earlier on i did mention that all of the um uh, files that use all the patterns that you see on the 99 panels are available as digital files so i've printed out one of those ah. and because you can get them as digital files yeah. they come as a pdf so you will have something like Acrobat Reader, Foxit Reader, yeah. something like yeah, that. Yeah. You can actually, um, when you go to print it out, choose the option to scale it. So you can choose how much you want to scale it by. Just type a number in a box. It'll do it by 100%, 120%, 100 whatever. 
can make it bigger and smaller as you wish. Because so I can use a, those for my paper crafting as well. You could use them for paper crafting, yeah. but there are um, options for this special type of paper that we've got. Now, rather, it's embroidery paper, so it's thinner than your normal copy paper, but it is thick enough to get through your printer. Ah, okay. So yeah. it's that kind of Goldilocks paper. It's thin <laughs> enough, but thick enough. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. what I'm going to do, I've got a, a few of those bits. I've just chopped up some bits of the organza there. I've got four or five of the different colours, the kind of whites and creams, some of the silver, some of the light blue, and some of the, the darker blue and the purple. I've got mm -hmm. elements of all of those laid down in a little pile, uh, just been quite rough and chopped some up and then I'm going to pop that over the top and I'm going to take it to my machine where I've got black thread on and I'm going to just kind of free motion over the top of this and now because this is um, a thinner paper you can stitch on top of it and then you'll be able to pull it away at the end ah. and if you've ever tried doing this with normal copy paper you always get little chunks Bits. left yeah this is about half the weight so it just pulls away Okay. So easy to use. Well, we're so all right. I'm going to go and get uh, stuck in on that. Okay. So I know you may need to do some numbers. Well, uh, details of the embroidery, embroidery paper um, are there as well. There are different options um, available. So you've got thir 30 sheets there at 9 99 Or you can go for 100 uh, sheets of this at 29.99 I love the way the picture changed there but only very subtly <laughs> 022 329 is the item number if you want 100 sheets of that is that A4 um Hayley uh, yes it is so through yeah. your printers so obviously that's what, the only thing that limits you in terms of size okay um, but yes it will go Show through your normal again, printer Emily. So no that's, problem that's 100 <laughs> picture and there's 30 30 100 oh stop 30, it 30 Hundred. <laughs> it, Love it. We could play that game all night. Uh, right. Okay. You could, I've, I've done my numbers but, now, Haley. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Always ready, Derek. Always ready. Um, so I've got everything layered underneath. Obviously, I've got my kind of fabric that I want to put my block onto. I've let I've cut it out the the, sa the same size as the block itself, and they do come with the borders round. So if you are trying to work it in with some of the 99 panels or. Um, uh, charm squares then it's exactly the right size I forgot to mention that actually all of these 99 panels are charm square size ah so it's kind of charm squares a pretty universal size for a lot of uh, pre-cut fabrics so it's five inch square on all of the color ones so that's all the Victorian tiles that you Ooh. see behind me all of the marbles that are with Derek and all of the uh, 99 panels which are white for you to colour in as well. So Everything if you wanted to make a nice big quilt but you wanted to be yeah. square, sparing with your... Mix um, and match. Loving it. So Mix you use your match. solids around these and yes. make them go even further. we've just tried to make it something that's really, really usable and really, really flexible. You'll go back to them so many times yes. again and oh, again and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll go yeah. back to the full to these loads and loads of times. Yeah. So, Such um, a good idea. I will probably put that in as a satin stitch a little bit later on, but can you see how easily that paper's going through? Yeah. Because it is the, it's the right type of paper, essentially. So I'm just going to do a couple of back stitches on there. How did the, how did the idea come up for the 99 concept? Um, well, we, we'd found a, um, it was the mandalas we did originally because we've got mandalas and they were so popular we did yeah. more mandalas right. after that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've never, I've never seen a concept like it, and but it just makes so much sense because you get so much in my for head, your money Derek, as well, don't you? And then I just do it. That's how it works. Yeah. Stuff pops in my head and then I do it. Yeah. So now I'm following the lines that are on that paper. I'll do half the. Um, feather and then we'll we'll take that off mm -hmm. but you could absolutely still do this technique if you're literally going straight onto those um fat quarter panels because um uh, the, the charm square size panels the 99 panels because yeah. if you're using the organza you'll be able to see the design underneath so um, yeah. i'm just showing you a di slightly different technique so so we're gonna flip it around and we're just gonna follow the lines on the feather. Okay. Now We've I've got, got the, a normal uh, foot on here, on so I'm details. not not being too precious because I've um, I haven't got my free motion foot on, but because this is all you know straight-ish lines, mm -hmm. you can get away with it. Yep. And if you are going to um, leave your feed dogs down and go with a normal foot, then I would definitely recommend a smaller stitch length 
because that's going to help you when you come to that stage of pulling the paper out because there's going to be more perforations in it and it's going to be easier for you to get out. Uh, OK, yeah, yeah. It's such a good idea, isn't it? And it's nice working on this size as well because it means you can do more elaborate pieces because you've got easier movement on the machine. You're not trying to struggle a huge piece. Yeah, you're not, you're not wrestling, are no, you? No, you're not wrestling with it. It's a nice size to work on. Actually, I could probably even get rid of a bit more of this because I don't need that whole bit. So we can just work on this little piece. I'm just coming up a bit and then going back and forth round the kind of... Oh, I don't know what the bits of feathers are called. Well, that's a... Uh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Um, you know, that, like the... Yes, I do. The, Bits. Like, like, because a feather, when you brush. look at it, it, it looks like a whole thing, but then it, yes, it's actually no, but lots, it's lots of, of different little bris. Oh, it's called veins. a vein, apparently. Oh, well, who go. knew that? See, every, every day's, day's a school, school day. day. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, it's it's like. <laughs> yeah, I won't repeat that. Um, no, don't say that, say? Derek. <laughs> this is this is how we end up with our degrees. You know, the school of telly. School of Hachanda. <laughs> yeah, the School of Hachanda, yeah. <laughs> We're going to come out with a, a definite... Um, what's the hard? What's the highest degree? Is, uh, master? No, that's the next would step. You, would, you you, master, you, would you be a master? Would you be a mistress? Then you go for PhDs after that, don't you? Is it? I don't know. a PhD in masters. I, have I don't no know. Idea. I have no idea. I've only just got my cycling proficiency. That's about all I can manage. Um... Uh, OK, somebody's asking um, the size of the squares in the panel. We, we just addressed that, didn't we? They're five-inch yeah, squares. They're all square. five. So uh, yeah, charm pack five size. Half. Now, uh, uh, they've asked, can you cut them into strips like jelly rolls? Well, in theory, yes, there's yes. nothing stopping you from doing that. Now, the ones that are on the panels that are behind me, the Victorian tail ones, um, they are actually, each tile is split in, is kind of mirrored into four. Yeah. So you've got kind of four mini tiles within those. Oh, so yes, yeah, so you can half and half. those would be really easy because you can see there's little lines running down them. Yeah. To be able to, Two to do that. Two and a half inch strips. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Bargello territory. Oh. It would be a bit, a bit of a busy, busy Bargello, wouldn't be it? It would be a bit busy. I know. I prefer the kind of uh, that's the, planes that's the, and That's the only one that. that popped into my head straight away because you've done one recently. <laughs> you could do that, though, with your, um, with your marbled ones, couldn't you? Yes, Very absolutely. Very much so. Take the whole bundle and... Oh, sorry, I'm going to be a nightmare again. I'll just do it bit by bit. I'll just do a little reveal. Um, because, obviously, you've got your, your multicoloured, then you've got a blue, then you've got... Um, sorry, orchid. Then you've got a, an autumn. And then there's a green, isn't there? So if you took all of the colours, you could end up cutting those down into two and a half inch strips and you could bar yellow that, couldn't you? Absolutely. Yes, you could. Absolutely. Very good. Lovely. So right, what do you do? Still I going around the um, veins. Right there. Veins. Oh, the veins. Yes, I'm still doing the veins on the feather at the minute. But mm -hmm. what I think I'll do is, because obviously it's going to take me a little time to finish that off, yes. I'll pull half of it off so you can see what I mean. And now, um, if I just move that so we can get... We can get a bit of space. There we go. And what you'll be able to do is just... Now, I do advise not kind of um, it ripping away from the stitches. So can you just see... I'm going to see if I can pop it off that corner. There we go. And just pull it. Can you see it pulling away there? Yeah. And just revealing that feather. Oh, so it's almost like sort of stamp perforations, isn't it? Yeah, that making? that's exactly what you've made, essentially, yeah. with your, your needle. Yeah. Is you've made those little perforations, and I'm just I'm trying not to tear it too quickly so it doesn't all ping off in one go for you. Yeah. There you go. So I'll just leave that there because I will still want the rest of it for later. And then, for those littler pieces that are on the inside, I'm just going to take a seam ripper and just break the top of it so that I can get in, and then you'll be able to pull those pieces out too. So it's going to take me a minute or so to do that. So do you have... Of course I do. ..some numbers or something? I always do. have a plan up my sleeve, you know that. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know that I'm here to rescue you whenever you like. Just shout, help! Help, uh, Derek, right. do some numbers. <laughs> I can. I've come back to the one-day special because I, th I just think everything in this show is, is, is a bit kind of like, oh, I want that, and I want one of those, and one of those, and one of those. But the one-day special, probably a good starting point, actually, if you, like me, brand new to this kind of 99 panel concept, I think this is brilliant. Now, the one-day special is one of these 99 panels and one of these 99 panels and some um, metallic marker pens, which is really, really good. So we'll start with the Victorian tiles then. 99 different designs. They're all five-inch square. And as Hayley said before, these are all divided into um, quarters on these as well. So you can cut those down. You can take them down into their four individual um, squares within the square, if you like. Um, so that would make them four two and a half inch squares, wouldn't it? Is that right? Yes, it would. Yeah, oh, I could never do maths beyond one or two. Uh, but there you go. So you get that. That has 99 different, ready for you to colour in, by the way, um, and do what you will with. And then the other panel over here is, Victor is keys. I was going to say Victorian keys, but they're probably keys keys from throughout the eras, I think, here, aren't they? I don't think yes. we're, we're not specific um, here, because some of those look a bit Tudor to me. Some of those look a bit Celtic to me. Some of those look a little bit New York City. Some of them look a little bit Vivian Westwood. Other designers are available. Uh, some of the very, very designer and chic as well. They are lovely. Now, they are single five-inch square. <laughs> <laughs> in there as well, which is lovely. Now, with this bundle, you also have your <laughs> your pens as well. So you've got metallic pens. You've got two silver, two silver, and two gold in this bundle, and you also have the five black pens there as well, which you will use the most. Which is why they, the most of them have been included there as well. Now, your pens on their own, by the way, are nineteen ninety nine. If you look at your saving on your one day special here, you're saving. Um, is £20. So on this one day special, you buy this and this, and these are absolutely coming along for the ride, which is really, really good. So it's the biggest saving here as well. Everything's available individually if you want to buy it. Um, if you want the pens, though, we're literally like such a tiny stock. If you want to buy the pens on their own, that bundle, it is on the website at £20, but the, the stock is so, so low. Um, so low. Uh, 29 is your price tag for that one. So the item number you need, 807983. I don't know why I keep pointing at these things. There's no need at all. So if you want are the panels on a USB, which is really, really good because um, you can pick and mix any three on these. So do we have the, is, are the one day special ones on there? Right, every single one. So all the ones we saw on the, on the flip right. chart over there as well. I must just say, yes. you, they, they, we put all of them onto one USB for you. So there isn't three, three separate ones. They all come as one on one USB. So we put all the files on one stick, send a stick. Right, getcha. So you pick any three 99 panels, they're all loaded onto one memory stick and sent to you. I see, I got it. There you go. Uh, 15 99 and you choose three. Again, you might choose more than three. Just go for the pick and mix and use your savings there. You save every uh, eight pounds every time you do a pick and mix. You've got gardening, you've got the sewing, you've got the Victorian tiles, you've got the cross. Oh, loads, loads there to choose from. There really are. Fifteen ninety nine. Remember, all three of your choices will be loaded onto one USB. Next is Organza, uh, and you get thirteen forty centimeter squares of gorgeous um, organza, 100% polyester, 100% beautiful. Uh, Haley only chooses the best materials to work with. This is a really, really good value for money. £12.99. pence. Image coming soon there for uh, something. That was a lovely picture, that one. I liked that one. It's my favourite, I think. Uh, no, my favourite is the embroidery paper pictures. Uh, <sighs> which uh, yeah, I think we should mention them. I think it's very, very key editorially, Emma, that we... Uh, Emma? Emma Lee? Uh, who's Emma? No idea. Right, so would you like 30 sheets of A4 printable embroidery paper for 9 99 or would you like, Q picture, 100 sheets... Wow, that looks so much more, doesn't it? Uh, 130. Have I There's... got a different presenter tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> well... <laughs> If, could, hey, although, you let me know it is. Although, <laughs> although you know you've got the memo to say, you know, in the morning when you've done your show, don't leave the building. Yeah. We might not be able to leave the building this evening, Hayley. We could be broadcasting live through the night. <laughs> a phone-in with you and me. How cool <laughs> would that be? 
Uh, Ben and Derek sleepover. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, we could all be, you could make us lovely bedding out of all of these. Is it like when you're little and you get to do sleepovers in like museums and stuff? That's a thing. Yeah, whoever did that? It's a thing now. You can do sleepovers in museums. Oh, well, not now, now. But Back in my day, it was just under under a blanket held up by a twig in the back garden. Times were hard. <laughs> anyway, my darling. Okay. Um, so Cheryl I've... has got a question for you, Hayley. Can you use fabric paint on the panels? Yeah, of course you can. It's 100% cotton, so you can use anything you like on them. I mean, we've had uh, people use these and they've done kind of fancy things with inks and things first. Just bear in mind, um, if the project that you are going to do is going to be washed, then whatever substrate you add to it, then you've got to make sure that that will stand up to the washing. But worst case scenario, take a plain piece of cotton and test it first. And if it works, it works. And I'm guessing once you've done all of that uh, uh, shenanigans, um, you can <laughs> then you can then odie coat as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you could uh, you could waterproof them as well if you wanted to. We had that the other day, actually. I love that stuff. Odie coat. Great, yeah. Oh, it's ge a genius. Once you get some, you you want to odie coat everything. Everything. Everything in <laughs> it's life. It's dangerous stuff, isn't it? It is. So, um, can I just show you where where I've got up to? Because yes. I've just revealed a quarter of this just to show you um, how those USB. Um, files and how those papers work so what we've done is we've put the um the organza underneath yeah paper over the top stitched through i'm still taking out some of the little bits of of paper there yeah and then i've just trimmed that organza back so it's still back in the shape of the feather yeah now because that's organza and it frays incredibly well you could be, get in there with a pin and really kind of go at it and add even more texture by freeing that organza up Rough and we'll up. finish this one off um a little bit later but i know there's other things that you want to see and i need to do some stuff with the pens yes and if you've got any questions by the way uh for hayley she is a mind of information uh, what she lacks in height, she makes up for in knowledge, <laughs> like me. Uh, I'm going to put that on my LinkedIn as a quote from you. Yeah, what I lack in height, I make up for in knowledge. <laughs> Derek says. Any questions, email in studio at hochanda.com. Now, uh, we need to tell you about the fact that we have also got a five metre piece of quilting cotton, which is on a, <laughs> a an absolutely incredible saving. Um, can now, you hold all it of it is there? <laughs> exactly the same weight as all of this is printed on. Ah, brilliant. So um, it's just it's just the, the same cotton, but it's not treated for printing. So that means that if you are planning on doing a project and especially the, the kind of anything you colour in or the um, marbled panels where there's yes. a lot of colour and you're going to need to maybe break that up with either a little bit of black or a little bit of white. Yeah. This is a great option to do that because it is a huge piece. It's 150 centimetres wide five meters long whenever I put this on there is lots of swearing in the office because it's an it's a difficult thing to fold let's yes, say yes it is <laughs> it is it's an it's a nightmare of an item to, to try and supply in the way that and we it's do weighty yes it's weighty and, it is. which is I shouldn't tell you this because it makes them swear even more uh. but if you order two you will get it as a continuous piece really it's not you cutting it then no no <laughs> right okay that's good to know though actually it's really really good to know it's good to know for um the postage price that we do as well actually yes i mean uh, just wait alone yeah the postage would be pretty hefty and, it, and if you're a freedom member then Not you are the laughing all the way to the uh wherever you like so details are there by the way uh 27 95 versus what it should be which is 37 pounds uh, is all 100 percent cotton it's 150 uh, centimeters wide which is probably Probably is that longer than that? How many Hades does 150 centimeters? Oh, I am 100. That's how we measure fabric. Have you not oh, seen you this stand before? Up then. Look, so this is 150 wide. That's it's so a look, whole Hades. If Hayley. I do that, it's uh, uh, right to the floor. <laughs> Where's she gone? See. Sorry, Marcus. We're going to go there. We're getting a camera That's to come how and you find measure. you. Hang on. That's how you measure 150 centimeters. She's she's behind. There she is. She's there. <laughs> Could you not see me? Was I totally disguised? Yeah, you disappeared. Marcus couldn't find you. There you go. <laughs> can I can I sit down now? So that's yes, giving us a really, centimeters. really good so visual say, reputation. One, com one complete Haley. Right, one whole Haley. Right, <laughs> get your pens out now, Mrs. Okay. Uh, well, I, we need I to found one I wanted to to do, but then I've, I've is lost it right in the again. middle? Uh, probably. Are you going <laughs> to cut it out? <laughs> so, um, with the pens, a couple of top tips for them is one, 
put something underneath it. Yes. Um, not because the ink travels through, but you'll find that the pens run a lot more. You've got some pens over there. You can have a play. Oh, yeah, Do you want yeah. one to colour in? Shall I chop you one off? And, and yeah. OK. I'll have to go back over to the, my pod, though. Is that go, all right? I think you're allowed. Shall OK. Go? I'll go Hang there. on, I'll I'm cutting now. you one off. I'll send it over via the medium of floor manager um, Ben. Yeah. So hang on. Oh, cool. I didn't know I'd get to play as well. Can yeah, I play with you these can ones? join in. Yeah. Well, I think you'll, you'll, you'll see how... Because it's all well and good me, you know, saying how nicely the pens were. I'm used to using the pens. It's always nice to see somebody who hasn't used the pens have a go. Now, yes. um, I would, I'm trying to find you a piece of fabric to put underneath, underneath it. Ah, hang on. I've got some in my bag here. Right. Now, the reason I'm saying put a piece of fabric underneath it, I mean, it's got butterflies on, but it doesn't really matter. It's just because the pens will roll far more nicely uh -huh. if it's got some fabric underneath it. So, uh, backstage Ben, could you please pass that to Derek? <laughs> And I will um, cut another one out, and I will do exactly the same. So I'm going to first of all <laughs> chop this out so we can move it around and see it so it isn't on the huge piece of fabric that I've got here. And then I will uh, start to colour it in. So let's get rid of this one out of the way. We'll just use this little bit of grey that I've got here. So the whole reason that you're going to put at least one layer of fabric underneath it is because those um, pens will move just so much more nicely with something underneath them. And these have got a huge amount of sparkle in them. Now, if you're using a biological washing powder, that sparkle will dull a little bit if you wash it, but then you can always go back in and add more on the top. I mean, these are designed, not necessarily, I mean, this is quite a, a small area that we're working on, not designed to cover, you know, giant, huge areas, but great fun for adding a little bit of sparkle to something. And you can see they, they just roll on so nicely because they've got that one millimetre uh, tip on them, which means you get kind of, again, it's the kind of Goldilocks thing. You get enough coverage that you're not going to be scribbling away for hours, but you get um, a fine enough line that if you wanted to follow, you know, just do the outlines and do really fine lines, then you absolutely could. And it's also quite forgiving in terms of direction. For colouring as well so you can go up and down you can go left to right and go round and round in circles you'll still get quite a nice even coverage with these derek's gone quiet therefore he has received yep. his pens yep. and that's why uh, she's given me it. one of We've these we've lost him for the rest of the yep. evening <laughs> oh it's lovely the sparkle is really nice and even as well isn't it it does come out as a really nice even sparkle as well now you can use these on paper and, and card and things if you want to um uh, ultimately at the end of the day it's a pen so anything you can write on it will write on now to keep the color and to um to kind of fix these you do need to uh, iron them and when you iron them it's a dry iron that we want so let me just grab this one here so by dry iron what i need what i mean is turn your steam off completely and you want a nice warm heat now what i would recommend let me just flip this over, is you either use a piece of greaseproof paper or uh, a thin piece of fabric over the top just before you um, press it. I wouldn't go for anything as thick as a towel or a tea towel because then you might not get all of that heat travelling all the way through. But uh, a piece of greaseproof or something like that. Or, you know, when you do, um, uh, what do I mean? Like Bonderweb style um, paper that comes off the back of there that's perfect because again that's kind of uh, thin enough to let the heat through but thick enough to um, prevent anything traveling through you can see there there's no there's no ink traveled through and there's no ink traveled through onto the back as well so they are kind of good for that and keeping the ink where it's supposed to be but that's all you need to do to seal those inks in place I've lost him silence what this happens with the anise as well <laughs> I do this with Yanis on purpose, though, to keep him quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you having it's a nice great. time, Derek? I am having a wonderful, wonderful time, thank you. It's actually quite nice, because I've been here quite a lot lately. I haven't actually had much crafting time, so actually this is quite nice. But nice you will time. lose me entirely, I have to tell you. But think about them with the coloured panels as well, because on those coloured panels, you might not want the whole to colour the whole thing, but you do just want to add a little bit of a lift here and there. You want to make maybe the black a little bit blacker or you want to, you know, add them to the outlines. So these are exactly the kind of thing that you need to do that. And you can just add that little bit of gold or the little bit of silver or that little bit of sparkly black anywhere you like. 
on do you know, the coloured panels. I, I hadn't truly understood how good this um, offer was because when you said we get five of the black pens, I thought, oh, that's good. But Why I probably got I probably got a fine pens? line of black pen somewhere. I didn't no. realise it was a sparkly pen. Sparkly. And so I was like, oh, now I definitely know I need five of these. They're yeah. amazing, aren't they? Yeah, they're really, really good. And remember things that we, we talked about earlier, where maybe you've got um, just a, a small project to do and you're wanting to add maybe a little, a little mouth onto something or you're wanting to add some eyes or oh, some yeah. whiskers. So maybe you've got, you know, smaller project. I'll turn it around the right way. There you go. So nice. He's not so, even looking. So they've told me in my ear because I'm not, not looking. not even looking. I'll take it back off you. <laughs> well, I won't because no, you're not allowed to come over there, but I'll you, get you, Ben to come over there and take it back you off You actually <laughs> won't. You actually won't, let me tell you. Sh Charmaine's it's just shaking her head now. <laughs> She's like, you've lost him. You'd have to drag <laughs> it off me. You're doing the rest of the show on your own, love. It's, <laughs> it's very, very stable fabrics that we're going to take some tug of war for you to get this off me now let me tell you <laughs> and that's the other thing uh, we've kind of married the two mediums up perfectly because the the fabric's kind of got is, is stable enough it's a nice weight quilting cotton and you can kind of really get in there with the pens if you want to i've only done one color let's do some of the other colors uh, let's put the gold in and they all run really really nicely on fabric because sometimes you can get um uh, because of the texture of the fabric you can get pens that are a little bit scratchy and these uh, run beautifully. And what you can do, let me just my, that's not my silver, that's not been opened. Ah, well, I'll show you. When they come to you, they'll have that little bit of um, red wax on the end. That's just to seal them while they're in transit. These are all made in Japan, uh, so they are fantastic quality. Pop that off and then uh, away you go. What a journey that is for them. I know. Isn't it? And you can blend these into each other as well. So if I've got the silver going there and I take the gold down, well, I think Japan are just really renowned for quality. Oh, as and well. everything's so exact and precise yeah, as well. Absolutely. You can always rely on it. There you go. Can you see that one that I've just kind of blended from silver to gold there as well? Because they, they are quite juicy and they will kind of, while they're still reasonably wet when you first put them on you need to be quite quick with something like this um, and I would definitely if you're blending a larger span do a small area at a time um, but you can get them to kind of run into each other while you're you've still got them wet and you can have a little bit of a play and a little bit of a blend as well I mean we've really put this bundle together as uh, for adding accents we've done coloring pens before where we've done uh, full colour ranges. These ones are the ones that if you've had those full colour ranges, I guarantee these are the ones you run out of. These are the ones that you've used over and over again and these are the ones that you want to replace. So that's why we've bought you this kind of specific set. Now they work really well on top of those panels that I've got behind me, those new coloured Victorian panels. And they're also brilliant on the marbled panels as well because although we've printed some of those marble panels and they kind of look like they're sparkly, they're a completely flat print, so if you want to add that extra dimension of sparkle, then this is a really lovely way to do it. Are you are you um, joining in at some point, Derek? Um, You're thinking about it. Is, is yes the right answer? I don't know. Yes. Sorry. Oh, he's, he's rearranging was, his flip chart. I was chart. planning my next. He's rearranging his flip I'm just, chart. I'm just doing some so housework. What I will do is, while you're doing that, I'm going to go back to my feather that I was sewing, which I've lost. It's on the floor. There we go. We'll. Okay. Go back through. Are you back? I'll, sh I'll show you my colouring in just a moment. Yes, I was very disciplined and I stopped, you see. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be taking that with me. <laughs> um, right. OK, I let me show the, you um, some the of the options. I tomorrow. You can't take it. Oh, no, it. that's true, actually. No, I can't, can I? I can, I can leave it with the pens in your dressing room for next Perfect. time you're in. Yeah, I'm in Wednesday morning. Right. Uh, right, OK, I think we saw the butterflies <laughs> earlier, didn't we? So shall I wish you on, uh, on the 99 panels? I just have to mind, mind my um, head. What did you say that, Emily? Emily just said, oh, it's a suggestion from email that actually this would be a very, very good way of quieting down the smaller humans. Are they talking about us? Maybe. <laughs> are, you talk are you talking about us? It worked, though, didn't it? <laughs> it did work. That one square, that would keep me quiet for hours. Anyway, we saw the... Um, I 
we think, saw the sewing one. I think they probably mean children, but uh, yeah. we are also small humans, so we'll take it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's the sewing one. We saw that in detail earlier, didn't we? So let me show you the, the next one. And the next one is... You'll have to tell me because I can't see from the back. Uh, dandelion. All kind of dandelion clock. So I think this one kind of really lends itself to maybe a bit of hand stitching in this one. Right. And, and the same techniques that I've been using with the organza, where you can kind of place them all over the top and then just put a few little stitches in to, yeah. to make those pop a few lazy French daisies knots in there. And all of that caper. Yeah, absolutely. You you wanna you wanna show this to um uh, to Katrina from Rome. Oh, she'd have a lovely time. That'd be uh, what a great collaboration. Blimey, that would be amazing. She'd oh, have a lovely wait, time. wait till you see the next one. Oh, right, you ready? <laughs> Ooh. That's right. a starburst one. So again, I, I think this one really lends itself to your hand stitching. Think about your organzas. Think about maybe if you've got inks and sprays and things that you could put on there first yes. to add the colour onto the background and then add the stitching over the top. Yeah, because I guess um, any of your uh, watercolour... Well, it doesn't matter whether it's watercolour or not, really, does well, if it? You, if you're not going to um, wash it, then yeah. absolutely you can put watercolour on. If you're not, then water down acrylics. Yeah. And they will stay more permanently. Or, of course, uh, you, could, you could do it even if it was your watercolour um, products, potentially. Oh. You could then eau de coat over them anyway, couldn't you? <laughs> There's is, always a way. Is eau de coat mad, I tell you. Yeah, I, I, I'm not an mad. agent for them, by the way. I'm not on some secret commission for eau de coat. Anyway. <laughs> right, ready for the last one? Checks in the post, Derek. Ah, <laughs> yeah, it's marvellous. There'll be a shed load on my doorstep when I get home. Oh, I've just undone the clip there. So this is the mandala option. Don't worry, There is it's a fine. more mandala option, which I absolutely swear down that I had when I walked in this building. And can I heck as like find it now? Um, so that's mandalas. The more mandalas is a slightly kind of darker outlines. Mm -hmm. So we've done that one more probably for your um, hand stitching. And then the more mandalas, we've targeted more towards maybe are you chucking your mediums at it and things yeah. like that so you can still see the design after you've chucked a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> I, I, just lo I just love this 99 um, concept. I love the fact that every one of the 99 here, and they're all five inch squares, they're all different. Yes, yeah, so they're if all you maybe different. have a. If you maybe got a, a, a charm pack, so the, the plain ones that we've had with Fabric Freedom previously, or um, anything really, because it depends on what colours you're going to add to it. Oh, here he goes. It. Well, I, I, I can't leave the show without <laughs> showing you what I've done. Can no, I? you've had a lovely time to I've, so. <laughs> I've had a go. I'm going to do a, a bit of mirror go. imaging. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I love that but sparkle of so, the black, though. So easy to use. Isn't it? They're so, so easy to use. And you don't necessarily need to put a huge amount on. So as we said, if you were kind of spritzing and spraying those backgrounds, they cover really well, because you've seen the one where we've covered the black fabric with them as well. So they, they do kind of, you know, go on top of colours quite well. So that's why they work really, really well with things like the, the panels that I've got behind me, the, the Victorian tiles, and your uh, marble panels that Derek has. Oh, gosh, we've, we've literally, we've got two and a half minutes left of the show. These one-day special shows, uh, like, they go so, so quickly. Should we show you the marble ones quickly? Like, really, really quickly. So there is the, uh, the multicoloured option, uh, which is uh, mixed. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Yes, yeah, so there's mixed option there. Uh, Eighteen ninety nine. All the all the colours on this one item done by Emily on this one. Yeah. Okay. So that's mixed, or you've that got one's your ocean blue. Ocean blues, or <laughs> oh, I love the running back and forward. That's orchid. Uh, orchid, which is lovely. Or from autumn. orchid to autumn. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Or and then the last one is leaf green. From autumn to, ta da! Oh, look at that. Put that, that... on repeat all night. Tell you, as a oh, masterpiece. I wish it was the wider shot where they could see you running back and forwards. Oh, that yeah. was something very special. <laughs> That's the most exercise I've had in weeks. So there are the <laughs> options. There's also a bundle for all of them as well, if you want to. Of course, biggest saving is there. And remember, they're all 99 um, patches each as well, five inch squares, all of the way through. 85 pounds and 95 pence, saving nine pounds there. 078004. It's the end of the show already. What can we expect? In the 8 o'clock well, hour. We'll do a bit more colouring in. Yes. Uh, we might do uh, another one of these panels where we've used the um, printed USB option. Uh, we'll do one of those from the Magic one, I think. Right. Oh, Magic. Then we can do a bit of colouring and one of those on the same piece. Actually, when eight. I say 8 o'clock, 
Due to a last-minute change of plan, that will be 8 a.m. on oh. Monday morning. Okay, um, then. You lovely girl, because um, plans have changed. Uh, we have a snow schedule yes. in action. So we'll see you again <laughs> at 8 o'clock okay. in the morning. Unless we're all snowed in, in which case, come back at about <laughs> 11 o'clock tonight for the all-night phone-in all night Derek sleepover. with me and Hayley <laughs> and Paula and whoever happens to be here at the time. It's going to be a bit of Charmaine will be there as well. Brilliant. We've got plenty of studio to social distance and do a phone-in as well all the way through the night. That's if we do get snowed in. If not, um, Hayley will see you for the one-day special in the morning <laughs> uh, at 8 o'clock, which means if you're watching this in the middle of the night, what an exciting night it is! <laughs> Who knows what we could wake up to on Monday at Ch Ho Chanda. Who knows what the shows will be or who will be there. You'll be there, definitely. <laughs> You'd crawl through no matter what, wouldn't you? Yeah, stand by Smith, that's what it is. Absolutely. Uh, listen, stay right where you are because there is something definitely happening after this.